Did you know that everyday life would be unimaginable without refractory? So what are refractory products? Let us take an example of a car. A car is made up of steel, aluminium and glass. These items are made with a very high temperature of 1600 degrees centigrade. Hi, I am Ashish Jain, Managing Director of Vishishal Engineering Limited and we have 30 years of experience in manufacturing refractory. We are the only company where our products go through 257 checkpoints before they are dispatched to our customers. In this video, I want to share with you three important questions that come to our mind when we talk about refractory. One, how steel is made with the help of refractory. In order to produce steel, iron is melted in metal containers that are transformed into steel using various processes and by heating them at 2000 degrees centigrade and above. The interior of the container has to be lined so that they do not start to melt. These linings are made up of refractories. Now the question arises how these refractory products stand up to so much of temperature and how they are manufactured. They are made with several materials including magnesites. These magnesites are crushed and then burned in special kilns at temperatures of 1800 degrees centigrade which produce the refractory properties. The loose material is mixed with binders and then pressed into various shapes and sizes of up to 3200 metric ton of pressure. This pressure is corresponding to about 900 weight of elephants together. Depending on the application, the refractory bricks are then tampered at 350 degrees centigrade or are burnt in tunnel kilns for three days at about 1800 degrees centigrade. Three, how these refractory products are used. The products are then installed at various places where these are used as liners in furnaces, reactors, containers and molds for casting where steel is melted. I hope this video was informative and you have a better understanding of a refractory now. Thank you.